Patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest are routinely treated with intravenous medications, but securing intravenous access is challenging owing to both environmental and patient factors. The intraosseous route is an alternative, but data comparing clinical outcomes with the two approaches are lacking. A new trial attempts to fill this data gap. In this multicenter pragmatic open-label randomized trial, 6,082 adults who had had an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest and who required vascular access for drug delivery during ongoing cardiopulmonary resuscitation were randomly assigned to receive treatment from trial-trained paramedics according to an intraosseous first or intravenous first access strategy. If vascular access could not be obtained with the assigned route within two attempts, the paramedic determined the route of subsequent attempts. The primary outcome, survival at 30 days, was similar in the two groups, at 4.5% in the intraosseous group and 5.1% in the intravenous group. Among the secondary outcomes, the percentage of patients who had a favorable neurologic outcome at the time of hospital discharge did not appear to differ between the groups. However, the percentage who had a return of spontaneous circulation at any time appeared to be lower in the intraosseous group than in the intravenous group. Only one adverse event occurred. A patient in the intraosseous group had mild ongoing leg pain during certain activities. The authors conclude that in patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, an intraosseous first strategy for vascular access did not improve survival at 30 days as compared with an intravenous first strategy. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.